Published on October 16, 1959, the Ghana Institute of Journalism, GIJ, has been in charge of producing practitioners in both journalism and public relation to local and foreign industries. In 2009, GIJ was granted a presidential charter to award its own certificate as a fully-fledged university. While the Institute marks 60 years in 2019, we find out how technology is being used on campus and the challenges that students and lecturers are faced with. In the past year, our focus has been actually on making sure that the, our internet connectivity is good so we can um, use the internet for all the things that we could do with internet. With the internet, um, we have been having conversations about being able to hold online tutorials. For example, um, if the, if our classrooms are not enough, and we don't have enough classrooms, then we have talked about how we can do some blended learning kind of thing where you do face-to-face -face lectures and continue with. Um, online tutorials and other things like that. Um, technologically, uh, what existed before I started is still what it exists, apart from getting into internet, um, making sure that the internet is much, much better. GIG has employed more computer systems, has improved upon the internet connectivity, bandwidth, and widespread. And then we have introduced uh, audiovisual equipment in the lecture hall. Indeed, we started providing network connectivity in some of the lecture halls, if you check on the B block especially, we have network. So as to allow students to be able to also on their own go on the internet and make research. We are trying to even improve with further side that in the course of lectures, lecturers can also uh, tap into the internet to bring or give further uh, examples or demonstrations or whatever they are doing. So we are looking forward to even going paperless about how we conduct administration and then a number of things. So yes, we we've employed computers, we've employed internet, we've employed um, audiovisual equipment to enhance teaching and learning. Aside the great strides made by the Institute to promote technology and ICT infrastructure on campus, these advancements didn't come without a challenge as there has always been insufficient equipment to carry out teaching. From the beginning here was typing. There was a typing pool here by the school of uh, the graduates. So there's a graduation, I mean, to what we, are, what we have today. But in my area, there, there have been problem always with the type of tools we work with. That's the camera. The camera has been sometimes just one camera for the whole population. And even to up to day, today, today, we, we, don't, we have about two cameras working for this population. And then it limits, it limits what we can, the, the type of practical assignment we can give out to students. The only thing that help us now is this, that every student is coming with smartphone. Yeah, but with smartphone, you are able to deliver certain things. You are limited to setting a stand, you know. If you have a professional camera like what he has, this is the type of thing we need for the department. And there's always a shortage. From the time I was a student here out to today, has there always been a shortage of the, the, the type of equipment that we work with in our department? Other facilities that were set up to alleviate students and lecturers' academic plight are the public address system and the electronic resource center, popularly known as the e library. Currently, we have 55 machines over the computers and the main purpose under normal circumstances the main purpose should be on the databases but 
we have realized that because the school doesn't have a computer lab, students are sometimes tempted to type their work there. But, you know, it's, the place is for them. So at times, we, we don't struggle with them. We just allow them to use it. Although these facilities were established to aid effective teaching and learning, some students who use these facilities must have to arm themselves with the challenges that it comes with. I do use the e-library purposely for my research. There are times lecturers give us assignments and projects to work and you're out of bundle, you're out of credit, so the only um, source of, um, or the only avenue you could use to get information is the e-library. Um, my challenge had to do with the space. It's, it's a survival of the fittest. You have to make sure that you get in there very early to secure a place for yourself and then get the information you want. Apart from the researches that you can do over there, you can also type your documents and edit some of your documents over there. When you know, probably you have a problem with your phone or you didn't bring your laptop, you can easily do it in the e-library. Indeed, the challenge over there is also has to do with the space. It's very small and if you don't go there early and the place is already full, you, can, you cannot use the place until somebody comes out of it. I'm getting negative feedback from some of our students who has gone out to uh, practice with that. Uh, one lady went to NET 2 for an interview and she got back. She said during the interview they asked her if she could yes, yes uh, take pictures, edit and present it. Like if she went on an, on an event she should be able to deliver that. And we are not. Our students are not equipped for that, for that. However, as the Institute ways to expand technology infrastructure to aid academic progress, students must take caution and stop unplugging the audiovisual equipment in the lecture halls, but more importantly, make sacrifice to improvise their own devices to enable them to carry out their own academic duties successfully. Um, if we can reach out to your colleagues as well, the equipment in the lecture halls, indeed, all of these things that we are administering for you, they are for your own good. So, you also help us by, when we say don't touch or don't fidget with some of the equipment, allow us to do our work for, allow them, for the benefit of everybody. Well, there you have it. Technology has had and is still having its own impact on GIJ in terms of learning and teaching. He who wants his future to be better than the present must work for it now to make it so. Education, they say, is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Malcolm X